explain why each is an incorrect IUPAC name and write the correct IUPAC name for each intended compound. So we have here A is 1,3-dimethylbutane, B is 4-methylpentane, and so on. So let's go ahead and do this. We will first start by drawing out the compound as named. So let's start with A, and we have 1,3-dimethylbutane. Butane is our parent chain. We always look at the N, and that's four carbons according to my chart. So we start by writing one, four carbons, one, two, three, four, and we have one, let's go ahead and number one, two, three, four. And on carbon one, we have a methyl group, which is one carbon only. So on carbon one, we will draw a methyl group, which is one carbon, we're drawing one carbon, CH3. And then on carbon, on carbon number three, there is another methyl group like this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and erase our numbers and see how we could number, name this correctly. So, in order to name this molecule, what we have to do first is we have to identify the longest continuous carbon chain. We, now, where's our longest continuous carbon chain? We can go like this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, or we could go one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't matter which way we go, but we see that the longest chain contains five carbons. So why was this name wrong? Because they identified their lo longest chain as containing four carbons. And it is not four carbon, it's five carbons. Let's go ahead and we're going to highlight this chain. And then we're going to number it. And we will number it from the end closest to the first substituent. A substituent is a group that's coming off of the chain. So my right end is closest to this substituent. So we will number one, two, three, four, and five. Since my parent chain has five carbons, it will be called pentane. Again, you just have to memorize this chart. Five is pent. And on the second carbon, I have one carbon coming off, or CH3 coming off, and this group is called methyl. So we will say 2-methyl-pentane. Now let's go to B. For B, I have 4-methyl-pentane. So again, what I will do is I will draw my carbon chain one two three four five so i have pentane and on carbon four i have a methyl group which is one carbon coming off of carbon number four next i'm going to erase my numbers because they're probably not correct like they were in a and let's see what's wrong what was wrong with this name how would i name it differently first i look for my longest continuous carbon chain and it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, or we can go one, two, three, four, five. Either way is fine. So we're going to highlight it. And then we're going to number. And the way we will number it is we will number from the end closest to the first substituent. Is it the left or is it the right? Well, the right end is closest to the substituent. So we will number it here, one, two, three, four five our longest chain is pentane five carbons so we have pentane and then so that's fine but our methyl group our one carbon coming off of the chain is on carbon number two because remember we always have to number closest to the first substituent so it should be two methyl pentane so our B was wrong because their methyl group was on carbon number four, so they numbered it wrong. Instead, we should have numbered it on carbon number two, closest to the right end, so it gets the smallest number. So this is done. Let's just cross it out. Let's go to part C, 2,2-diethylbutane. So again, butane means we have four carbons, but is four. So we start by drawing four carbons, one, two, three, four, and then we have two, two diethyl. 
So on second carbon, we have two groups. F means two carbons. So on second carbon, we have two groups, two carbons each. So we have one group that has two carbons. That's an ethyl group. And another group that has two carbons. That's an ethyl group. Next, let's erase our numbers again and let's look for the longest chain. So our longest chain will actually be this one, either going this way or this way, whichever way you want, it's the same number of carbons. Let's highlight it and let's number it. Okay, so if you number from this end, we go one, two, three. So we will have on the third carbon two substituents. And if you number from this end, one, two, three, also on the third carbon. So it doesn't matter from which end to number since the molecule is symmetrical. I'm going to start here. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have five carbon chains. So again, it's called pentane. And on the third carbon, we have a methyl group because it's one carbon. So this is three methyl. And this group, this is also three because it's on the third carbon and it has two carbons. So it's ethyl. And now we just have to put the name together. Now we put it together alphabetically. What goes first? E or M? E goes first. So this is going to be three ethyl. 3 methyl pentane. So this name was wrong because our parent chain here had two few carbons. Actually, our parent chain has five carbons and it is a pentane. And let's go ahead and do D. D is 2 ethyl 3 methyl pentane. So we start by drawing our pentane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 carbon molecule. Pent means 5. So we draw 5 carbon chain. And on the second carbon I have ethyl group. Again remember ethyl is 2 carbons. So on the second carbon I have 2 carbons coming off. And on the third carbon I have a methyl group. And now I'm going to go ahead and erase my numbers and see if my longest, what my longest parent chain is. Now, this used to be my parent chain, but actually this chain is longer. So that's why this name is wrong. Instead of pentane, we will count how many carbons it's going to have. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. So instead of five carbon parent chain, actually the longest continuous carbon parent chain in this molecule is a hexane, six carbons. So this is hexane. And next we have two substituents, this one and this one. And let's just number our parent chain closest to the first substituent, which would be from this side because one, two, three. If I number here, one, two, three, actually the they equal it doesn't matter which side we number from but let me just go ahead and start from this side one two three four five and six so on the third carbon we have one carbon coming off which is methyl and on the fourth carbon we have one carbon coming off which is also methyl when we have two same substituents instead of saying three methyl and four methyl we will combine them and we will say 3 comma 4 dimethyl. Di means two methyl groups. So our correct name will be 3, 4 dimethyl hexane. When we have the same substituent, we combine it. So here we had 3 methyl and 4 methyl and we combine it to make it 3 comma 4 di. Di means two methyl groups on one on carbon three and one on carbon four hexane. That should be our name for D. Let's go ahead and make E happen. So E is two propyl pentane. Again, pentane is five carbons. One, two, three, four, five. And two propyl means on the second carbon I have prop which is three carbons. So I have three carbons coming off of the second carbon. One, two, three, like this. And again, what I have to do is I'm going to raise my numbers and I'm going to find the longest continuous carbon chain. 
and the longest continuous carbon chain you can see is this one so let's highlight it and now let's number it if I number from this side, I go one, two, three, four. So this substituent would be on carbon number four and here one, two, three, four. So it doesn't matter where to start numbering from. I'm going to start from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My name, my parent chain name must be haptane. Hapt is seven. So I go haptane. And now my substituent is in carbon number four. I have one carbon coming off of carbon number four. One carbon is meth. So I have four methyl. Four methyl haptane must be in my name for E. And finally, let's go ahead and do G. I have two, two dimethyl cyclopropane. Cyclopropane is a ring. Basically, it looks like a triangle. Probe means three carbons and cyclo means a ring. So it's a ring that consists of three carbons. So I just drew it. And let's number it again. We can number it any way we want. One, two, three. And uh, we have two, two dimethyl. So on the second carbon, we have two methyl groups like this. Now let's go ahead and erase it and try to name it again. Our parent name here is still cyclopropane. It's still a ring that contains three carbons. So what's wrong with this name? Well, what's wrong is that we want to give our substituents the lowest number. And the lowest number here would be one. We would go one either uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. But this carbon should be carbon number one. So our parent chain is still well, in this case, parent ring is still cyclopropane. But our substituents are not 2,2-dimethyl. Instead, I have 1-methyl and 1-methyl. We combine them to make 1,1-dimethyl. This is my allergy from Transformation Tutoring.